looking at like Notion and Obsidian for task management. For some people, I think that works really well. And for others, especially those just starting off, I would not recommend using a tool like Obsidian or Notion for task management. Why? They're too complex to maintain and they don't scale well because you often need to build your own solutions to your problems. And if you're not entirely clear on what those problems are and how to solve them, then it can be really difficult to solve those problems in those tools. So for example, planning can be really interesting inside of Obsidian. I've tried it a few different times, but to really get some of the, to remove some of the friction in there, there's a lot of scripting that can be done to do it, but it involves having a little bit more of a technical mindset and then some software development skills to do it. And so I definitely wouldn't recommend that to anyone who is not willing to commit 10% of their time at least for the first three or four months, tinkering around with Obsidian to get the balance right. Uh, for most people, that's going to be too much and it's going to be too much overhead for them to try to manage that. For a limited set of people who have those skill sets, who love the tool so much, they want to have everything in one place, they don't mind spending 10% of their time and they have 10% of their time to dedicate to managing those things uh, and figuring it out then great. But for most people, it's better to use some more of an off-the-shelf type solution than it is to try to construct something out, out of the blue. Paper is one of those unique and interesting things because it's just pen and paper. You don't need software development tools to, <laughs> to extend pen and paper. But so that's where that's also interesting. It's so much more customizable and you don't need the tools to do it. You just need to figure out what you want to do to get there.